Today was a good day. Today's vlog is a very special one. It's going to be all about how to heal your inner child. Throughout this vlog, I'm going to be sharing with you things that I do to try and heal my inner child and give you as many tips and tricks that I think are really beneficial. The first thing that I have done for this vlog is made my bed. I feel like with healing your inner child, it's really a lot about looking after yourself and doing something like making your bed it is really good for that because it sets you up for the day. It provides a nice, calm environment to come home to in the evening and can also just make you feel less stressed as sometimes clutter can just make you feel a bit overwhelmed so this creates a really tranquil environment to sleep in right now i'm actually on my way to a little village open day i'm not really sure what to expect but it's one of the villages that i used to live in as a child i think lots of people are opening up their houses and what's going to be really good about this particular experience for me is i'm actually going there and almost reconnecting with my inner child who lived in that village and doing activities that i used to do as a child so if you know there are activities that you did as a child that you really want to get back into and you know you'd enjoy that can be a really good way to heal your inner child so on that note i'm gonna go off now to the open day i will share with you what i get up to there and then we'll get back home and do some more activities to heal our inner children so let's go for a party that I'm going to tonight and then tomorrow will be the day that I show you the sort of bulk of the things that I'm going to be doing to heal my inner child but I do think doing things like this like going to a party tonight is really good for me and it does also help heal my personal inner child because I didn't go outside for many many years and just sort of shut off away from the world which isn't good for the younger version inside of you who's trying to heal. I think I thought I was helping myself by staying inside as a sort of like way of protecting myself from bad things happening to me because it sort of felt like bad things just get happening to me over and over again. I think my body just sort of thought, you know what, just stay home when nothing can hurt you. To heal my personal inner child, I would like to socialize a bit more often. I'm just curling my hair a little bit because my hair did drop out a bit today while I was out at the fate. I think the weather sort of ruined it, which is annoying because it's day one hair anyway. I only washed it yesterday. The problem is at the moment in the UK, it's quite muggy weather. So it's really hot, but there's no sun. It's just really overcast, which isn't good for my hair type. I'll try and film a little bit if I can. I'm not really sure what we're going to do there, but I will try and bring you along with me and then I will catch up with you again tomorrow to give you lots of tips and things that I'm going to do to heal my inner child. just seen I've just been doing some journaling but not just any journaling I have a sort of generic style of journaling that I usually do but today I actually decided to do a letter to my younger self which I think is really good for healing your inner child and the kind of things I included in this letter was things like updates on how I'm doing now sort of addressing the past and what's changed and how I'm going to look after and nurture my inner child and I think just addressing it and actually putting it to paper can be really good and healing and beneficial to your mental health so I'm 
really glad that I did that. I only did one page. I could have probably gone on for longer, but we're having the hottest day of the year right now. I am absolutely drenched in sweat. I'm gonna be honest, I'm so hot. I think the plan for tonight is I might be going for a barbecue at my family home. Again, really good for healing my inner child, getting in touch with that younger version of me that lived there. I'm currently 50-50 on if I wanna do some baking right now because baking was another really good thing that I enjoyed throughout my childhood. I'm just unsure because of the weather. So I'm gonna quickly decide if I'm gonna do that and I'll get back to you. So it's currently nine o'clock and as you will have just seen, I've just been doing some skincare because I think it's really important when you're healing your inner child to really look after yourself. I think that's one of the main ways to heal. I do find doing things for myself like skincare just make me feel really relaxed and it's nice to almost spend time with myself. It really helps you feel sort of in tune with yourself. I've also got peppermint tea. I'm getting ready for bed a lot earlier tonight than usual because I'm going to London at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I have to wake up really, really early for work. We have got a head baker day at my job. If you didn't know, I am a recipe development manager. So once a month, myself and all the head bakers get together and we bake some of the recipes and anything that needs amending. They'll then tell me and I'll go and amend it for them. So yeah, it should be good. I'm gonna go cut the brownies now. Then the final thing I'm gonna do tonight is make my room super cozy and relaxing. And then I'm gonna read my book. Reading is probably the main way that I'm healing my inner child because I used to read non-stop as a child. I was always reading. I could not put a book down. And then when I went to secondary school, that all just went out the window and I completely stopped reading. But while I've been on my healing journey, I've really, really got back into doing my reading in the evening before bed. It helps me sleep better and it's really, really, really just been enjoyable and reminded me of my younger self. I'm currently reading the fifth Bridgerton book, which is To Sir Philip With Love. Um, It's not my favourite one of the series, I'm going to be honest. I'd say it's sort of in the middle. I'd say it's like 5 out of 10. I think Sir Philip's character could have been written a bit better. I think he has quite a lot of flaws. I don't know. I think, I guess that's the point, but I'm going to take that on the train with me tomorrow morning and get some more reading in. I think the main way to heal your inner child is ultimately to spend time with yourself. It is a process. It's a journey. It's not going to happen overnight. It could take years maybe, but I'm getting there. I think it's going well. And I encourage you to do the same if you feel sort of disconnected from your younger self. Finding your way back and reminding yourself that they're still inside of you is pretty useful. today's vlog. I really hope this video has been helpful to anybody on their healing journey and wanting to reconnect with their inner child. Just know it is possible through work and time and just allowing it almost. Like I know how easy it is to obviously just block out trauma and memories and when you are on a healing journey it's not going to be easy but it is always really worth it and I believe everyone here who's watching this video can do it. We can all do it together because I'm nowhere near done. So yeah, thank you so much for
for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like me to make and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.